You're live caller right now. You're tuned in to Queen Bee Radio. And who we got on the line? Hey, it's Ben. ben. He- Hello, you said Ben? Yeah. What up, Ben? What you got What you got on your mind real quick? How you doing? Uh, I just want to request some of my boy's music, Mike Plummer. He's in the studio with y'all today. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shout out to the team. Ben, I appreciate that, man. Squad. Yes. And then what song are you <laughs> requesting, yeah, love? Doing? Hey Ben, what song are you requesting, love? Uh, one of, some of his new stuff. I haven't heard it yet, so I'm dying here. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So what you been holding out on us, Mike? I've been holding out hard. Oh man. yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to wake the fucking city up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's all you gotta do. Yes, yes, definitely. Well, look, Ben, we're gonna go ahead and get into it real quick. And actually, it's funny that you said that because we're loading up his music as you as we speak. We got his interview coming up right around the nine fifteen hour, going in real hard. All right. So like he said, he's about to go in, and so are we. All right. You gonna keep it locked? Oh, yeah. All right, Ben. <laughs> thanks for rolling with us, okay? All right, Ben. I appreciate that, All right, man. See you later. All right, Ben. Oh, yeah, Mike. Talk to you. Yo, man. I'll get this early was... love. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Yeah. This should be a lot of love, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. We wish you a merry, merry Christmas. <laughs> we wish you a merry, merry Christmas. <laughs> Hold on real quick. Let me see. Yes, but look, that was uh, that was a lot of love coming. So, Mike, go ahead and introduce yourself real quick and tell us where you're from. It's Mike Plummer, man. From the 410 to Eastern Shore. Man, from the Eastern Shore, man. Eastside. I'm here to wake the fucking city up. I haven't slept on long enough. Man. Word. Word. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Look, look, look. Hold back, back. Hold wake back. The hold back. Yes. Ooh, wake the beast. Yes, we're definitely going to get into it. So, um, you know, uh, I, I definitely was really, really feeling, you know, the fact that your your progressional transition, progressional transition, Devin, um, you know, has led you to, you know, not only connecting back to, you know, people that you started off with, um, you know, also, uh, you have a couple of other things that are coming up. Yes. Mm-hmm. What well, in the workings, uh, you know, flipping the, you know, the flipping the burgers. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I always call them appetizers and getting ready for the main course. Mm-hmm. Um, Look, that's <laughs> like, like, it never leaves you. You're right. such a mess. I, I like wings. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hook me up with some chicken, right? <laughs> salt, pepper, ketchup, and on them fries. Actually, I'm, I'm hold the salt nowadays. Hold the salt. Hey, little Obey. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Obey, yes. You know, look. So, okay, whole time. Shout out to my girl Rachel downtown the Cheesecake Factory because <laughs> she makes. Now, for her to be a fair skin, a light skin, she makes one of the best honey Obey wings ever. Like, mm. I swear to God, shout out to you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, go ahead, DJ. I'm gonna go ahead and kick it off hey, with you what's real up, quick. D man. All right, question for you. Um, during the production, is there any Anything you could change about the saga? Love the love saga. Um, well, let me go ahead and break break down the actual like the term. Uh, what the love cycle saga is just like the saga, like a book of like uh, situations that can be family, friends, uh, relationships, and it's talking about love. And right. then this particular chapter was titled "Beautiful Mistake," which was a love story between two couples. Um, as far as uh, now, you asking me about all the movies I've done for the saga? Or you mean the specific one? That, that specific one that uh, any like production wise, uh-huh. is there like anything you would change or yes. you would have done different? <laughs> really? Hell yes. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> Um, as far as my actions in terms of like putting things together, no. Um, okay. As far as the people, I guess I asked to come on. Mm-hmm. That's who I would change. Okay. Um, Ooh, that was, that those was, relationships. Hold yeah. on, you ain't just gonna skip over that. No, 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 no. I'm starting over it like that. Uh, no, yes. Um, there was the people that were delight to be around, to delight to okay. work with. Okay. Um, I hold close to me. You can see Ty still. I'd be like, every time I do an interview, anybody mm-hmm. that I still talk to, y'all, y'all trying to I come out. I peeped that too. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah. I was like, if he if he throwing out names, then he must yeah. definitely fuck. Right. Okay. It's just um, you know, and then you know, it's all love at the end of the day. The ones that have my issues with um it's no like ill will or no beef but there was times they put me through a, a little bit too much for Understood. this project because you already know it was a vulnerable sp- a space you're in pitting the right. production together yeah, asking exactly. for help and then when everything's going good and then the monkey jump on your back i'm looking mm. like yo get off my back and i'm yeah. looking like we supposed to be here yeah, and yeah, then everybody yeah, yeah. acting all crazy and then that they, fluidity yeah and i guess they had um perceptions about me or things i mean even things with the premiere they would say i was getting over um they saw all those people that the sold out show but right when you first do something you're going to be in the red like like when you first launch something and then mm. the next project you start building up your revenue right. for them to see all those people they're thinking I collected all this bread and held it to myself and mm-hmm. it was just like why wow. am I working with you if you don't trust me so wow. it was just kind of like it was more so the people after yeah. a certain point now as far as the you know like I said the, dealing with the production but you know as far as like grinding get my location scheduling you mm. know just you know things like that that was flawless like I love how that went because God was really with me putting things together but just the people at, yeah after after a while they was just like showing that and I'm just like, okay, mm. so I know what time it is right, right now. Like, <laughs> time to go. <laughs> no more 
apologies, <laughs> sir. No <laughs> more apologies. And, and, I don't got nothing to say. And, and you know, they kind of really sparked that movement because I was already feeling guilty a little bit because I'm looking like, dang, I wish they can stay around and things like that. But I'm looking like, Devin, stop apologizing for doing what you had to do. All Let right. people go. So then that's when no more apology. I will always use a hashtag. And then one of my friends, uh, Bernay, she was just like, Devin, put on the shirt. I was like, hell yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and it's been yeah. good. So, yeah. So, but yeah, that's the only thing I would change with production. Just some of the people I attracted and got on the So, project. they got like really deviant, diva ish. Yes, very much so. And I'm looking uh-huh. like, well, uh-huh. damn. And I was like, okay. Yeah. And, then, and then the funny thing is, when I was talking to um, Preston, the guy that made this Christmas, he even told me, he is an old motherfucker. You're going to deal with that shit 10 times when you get in the industry. I was right, thinking, like, right, really? Right. But I'm thinking, if you're going to pay all this money, we have an agreement. Y'all should do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just about the job, the understanding, and, yeah. and, and and that's so you know with the relationship piece, you know, in networking, like I was explaining, um, you know, mm-hmm. we was off air just about you know it's not about the competition, it's really mm-hmm. about the the unification and the networking piece, and that's what I really feel like, um, you know, it, it kind of goes into everything, kind of goes into you know the holiday value, the holiday time, and the family values of you know mm-hmm. people really losing ground on really what matters, and that's really it's a, it's not about the small success here, it's about where this long road or where this road is going to go, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So you know, and speaking of long roads, um, you know, after being or, or fulfilling, you know, the role because Devin has spoken so highly of you. Um, you know, do you feel as though uh, at least participating has uh, in this movie it's changed you anyway? Yes, I do think that it has changed me. Um, I do think that it has changed me because when I first started um, his movie, well, when we first started, I was in school for journalism. Okay. Mm-hmm. And by my my dream has always been to be an actress. Like, so it made me change my major. Do you love theater. Dorothy Dandridge? Yes. Okay. I did a report on her girl. I feel you. I know yeah. all the way. Go ahead. So yeah, I I changed my major. So it's, since then I've been happy. I've been excited hold to on, go to on. school. Clearly. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Go, hold on. Go back. So you saying you changed your major after you did the movie? Like yeah. during, really? Yeah. I didn't know. You Look had a career that. path. Oh, yes. 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 Wow. You know that always been my dream. So right. I, like every time I apply for school, I would go to the theater arts um, department, but they would be like, "You got, you have to try out." And I'm like, "I'm scared. I don't want to do it." <laughs> oh wow! But I just was like, "You know what? Fuck it. I'm doing right. it." So I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy at all. Right. I'm like, "This is boring. Like I gotta write about news. This is sad. I don't want to keep <laughs> writing about somebody dying. I don't. Right. It's not fun." So and then every time I wrote a story, it was somebody like, "I don't like the story." It's you know because with news, you gotta be. Important to the less, least important. I'm like, oh, this is just not working out for me. So when I went mm. to the theater department, I, every day I go to that stage and be like, this. Mm. It, it felt this good, is, didn't yeah, it? Yes, yeah. that is like the so light dope. Is, yeah. That's what's up. Congratulations, Thank because you. Uh, like Dev knows, you know, at the beginning of our relationship, um, you know, with meeting him, that's when we were working with WPB, and um, you know, I had quit my job working with you know the big red of cell phone companies, and and I did it because you know I was not happy. Like I said, like you know, I'm like I'm sitting here making this money, and Dev knows that with the server life, I can make that doing something else, and so mm-hmm. I, I commend you, sister, for actually going out there and mm-hmm. and really sticking to that commitment because I changed majors. I was a bio major. Went to psych.